hello and welcome to today's show. Today we're going to talk about doing something, maybe do a weld stain or um, transfer a stencil to a stainless object and etch something like a piece of aluminum because we can do that and it's not too hard. What we're going to start with something like this. It's about quarter 20 inch. I take the quarter 20 and I don't know if you can see, but there's a small hole I have drilled in here. Let me get a little closer. All right, see the little hole drilled? Okay. What the thing I'm able to do is I cut a piece of tubing. Get it back under the piece. That's why I put that little black dot there so I could get it in camera. And the tubing goes on the shaft like this. I take a little cyanoacrylate super glue type thing. Put it in there like that run a screw down there or nut actually until I'm just flat with the bottom of the hole okay push that up let it dry because I get something looks like this now something else I do in there somewhere is I take and I sand off the edges the bumpy edges the six corners round it off flatten it off take the um, Grade of the bolt off that way so it's a perfectly flat smooth surface deburred on that side and now I have something that looks like this and what for I'm actually making that for a friend of mine who's cutting me some stencils because then I'm able to do something like this and this makes let me take a piece of aluminum say we're doing something aluminum flat we'll put it down like this and then we're able to transfer our stencil on boom 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 well it's going to spark right there, right? So we do something like this. Okay, taking wire ties and a little gauze, a little gauze pad. Take and I put one under here. This is done the same way. Actually, this is my first uh, try because it makes a, um, you could almost do a, a fairly significant word a little bit at a time with that. Big head, big transfer between here and here because electricity runs between plate to plate like a capacitor or like a battery plate and this is just a pad to uh, to uh, soak up your electrolyte a little one to wrap it and you go shh, shh. the reason this is so big is this is for for a high current battery charger kind of configuration and I wanted something big enough for the battery charger to bite the clip to hold there so I wouldn't you know hit my skin not that 12 volts is overly dangerous 12 volts DC but if you're messing with vinegar or salt water or something like that vinegar and salt water mix it's an electrolyte and you don't want to you know get across it because it can break the resistance of your skin down so that's the purpose of that little piece of sleeving right there that led me to this current kind of generation type deal so i put pull my other ends off these just go to my power supply my regulated 12 volt power supply and i'm able then to go around my stencil and make it all nice and happy. Now, there's another way we can do it. Again, there's a little tab for that, pull the juice up. Now, I have something else. Now, there's another way to do this. A lot of times, people will do it in a bath. They just take your the item and put it in a bath, anode on one side, cathode over here, current pulls across it. What this is, a little homemade job, is cut uh, specific to fit something little grooves to fit where it is in the particular shape because this is designed to be a well because if I don't if, if if my object is too big to go in the bath I'm gonna put the bath on the object and we can pull across so we put that down put our stencil on our object say something like that let's do it with this one okay here's a rectangular one looks like this one's been used so so what I would do is I transfer my stencil on onto my substrate Put this on. You can silicone or, or hot melt glue or something. Hot melt glue is quicker than, than uh, caulk to do it. Or you could tape it with uh, electrical tape, something like that. Then you fill your, your tank here, my little fish tank. That's sitting on top of my little stencil. My words or whatever, my picture is inside of here. And I put it full of juice. And then I take this little guy, a special little guy I made to fit it. And he sits down into the juice and here in a similar system is 
to this is two sets of jumpers, except this is my, would be my negative one. I'd put over here, connect my negative to the plate, and put, and put the positive one to the substrate. Hit the go button, and we're pulling current from the base up or top down, depending on if you follow either conventional flow of current or electron flow of current. But those two things will enable an etching or, or weld staining at best, like on stainless, and an etching on aluminum. And we'll have another show coming up doing that.